Hello, in this video I'm gonna do something very special that I'm even a bit excited about. Here we have a perfect sized piece of hardboard from one of those little IKEA tables. The hardboard is extracted with a bit of patience and violence. On this I'll build sort of a battle board for my post-apocalyptic game setting. The size is good for that. Okay, I began by creating a few high areas and larger rocks from bark. I chopped the pine bark into suitable pieces and then attached the bits with PVA glue. To get bark such as this you can try to find a large pine tree. Preferably a dead one. Good, I continued by chopping up bark into smaller bits. This is used as gravel and sand. Here I considered changing my channel name to Bark's Craft and then proceeded by emptying my glue bottle over the board. I spread out the glue and made sure to get more near the big chunks of bark in order to fully secure them. Then I just threw on the bark choppings. This should work pretty well for an arid landscape where barely anything grows. Hey, this is starting to look quite good, I have to admit. Usually I make these videos mainly to get by, but in this project I really knew I'll be using this terrain a lot and for a game that I'm looking forward to. That brings us to the sponsor of this video, Raid Shadow Legends. In Raid you can build your team of epic champions, defeat the toughest bosses, and grind your way up the dominance hierarchy among millions of other players. To join the fight, use my link below to download Raid yourself on mobile, phone or PC. The best thing in Raid is to customize your army, equip loot and stuff to get the best stats. Min-maxing your champion's build will surely make reality feel pointless compared to this. I'm not kidding, it's fun. And to make things better, Raid just released their biggest ever update. The main event here is the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. What are you waiting for? If you want to start your grind with a huge head start in Raid Shadow Legends, all you have to do is hit the link in the descriptions and if you are a new player, you'll get your free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP boosters, some energy refills and even an Ancient Shard as soon as you get in game. All of this treasure will be waiting for you here. Good luck! Okay, I continued by fully securing the bark bits with diluted PVA glue. I could have used a bigger brush. A post-apocalyptic wasteland surely needs some junk. Let's begin with some steel scraps from corrugated cardboard. These can be like bits of destroyed roof. And why not put one as proper cover? I got an idea. To complement my simple battle board, I cut a few larger corrugated cardboard bits and created modular covers. Simple and functional. With these, I'll be able to create a few interesting encounters right after I'm finished with this battle board. For the next junk related thing, I used spruce from miniature kits. I cut up a few nice bits that I textured using a knife. More damage is better. When gluing these on, I also covered some parts with the fine bark choppings. A tip for creating battle boards. Don't clutter the open areas with stuff that would stop you from placing any terrain pieces there. That's my point here, to create a board where I can build scenarios by throwing on modular pieces of terrain. The last thing I tried as junk was the spray bottle scap, 
but after trying on the scrap bit, I realized that would be too much. This is good, I continued by spraying with black. In the previous video, I advocated sticking just to brush on paints to save money. Because I believe in diversity of opinions, I also recommend using sprays to save time. After that raid sponsorship, what will I do to save my soul? After the black was dried, I sprayed with brown. A few moments later, I realized that this is still almost black. Yep, I should have only painted with the brown. My mistake. I continued by overbrushing with a lighter, slightly orangish brown. This is the color I should have in spray. Now using a larger brush, I found after a while, I was able to properly brush the whole board. Now it looks fairly good. To complement the orange tones, I painted all large stone formations with a watery dark blue. This trick always works. Apply the dark blue bravely, then remove excess with paper. Good, next I dry brushed with a tan. At first I thought all of this looked quite bad, to be honest. But then my eyes got used to the sight. I hope yours do that as well. By the way, these junk covers have been painted in the same way up to this point. Now we'll work on these. First I covered the scrap covers with gunmetal. Also the junk laying on the board. I continued by mixing a green-blue wash. I applied plenty of this on the covers and then removed the excess. Next I did pretty much the same, but with orange. This also worked well for the spruce bits. Alright, dried grass tufts were next on my list. I cut short bits of hemp rope and glued them on as grass tufts. To get things looking good, I mainly placed these near larger objects. This step is not at all painful, but does take a lot of tufts and lots of time. I wanted to add lots of tufts in order to hide the fact that I have painted this board way too dark. As I said, I should have skipped the black base coat. Once I had lots of tufts down, I glued on many smaller tufts to improve the look. Next I mixed a brown oil wash. I used this to lightly color most of the tufts to begin with. At this stage I also made sure to fluff up the tufts. The brown oil wash also worked better on the scrap covers compared to the orange I used earlier. Then I tried using the wash on small portions of the ground as well. Hmm, perhaps I can fix my problem with the ground being too dark by adding some mid-tones. I brushed plenty of wash on areas I thought could use some more color and brightness. It worked better than expected, so I covered almost everything. This added that good orangey-brown color I was looking for. I also made sure to brush parts of the large rocks to tie them in better. This is great, I even got the entire board covered with that tiny amount of oil paint. I let the wash dry properly and then touched a few highlights with silver and white. Very good, now I'll read from the intro section of my post-apocalyptic game setting. This game we live in is a survival and adventure setting where hideous mutated creatures roam the lands and crazed cultists seek new ways to harness the mysterious energies which suffuse the land. The Grey Trees had set this world into chaos. It is time for you to wake up. Will you survive and bring order to the land? Or will you plunge this world deeper into the abyss? Yeah, I hope we'll have fun with this game and the battleboard. 
in the future I'll do more doomsday related stuff such as building concrete and scrap fortifications and buying more ammo. Just kidding, I only have a bow. Now make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the content and watch another video next. Also consider supporting the channel on Patreon if you like my stuff a bit too much. Thank you and goodbye.